Um, this is a review of a Holman large print ultra thin. I've never owned an ultra thin Bible before. I've never even seen one before, so this one's quite nice. The cover on this is actually genuine leather, but the printing they've put on this on the gen, on this leather is quite nice. It's quite a busy little print. It looks quite good. It's actually on the front and back, and and of course the side. So. And it's it's a really shiny Bible too. It's quite nice. Um, it is tool edged around the perimeter of it, as you can see. If you can see that, but it is tool edged. As you can see, there's no raised hubs or anything on this. It's it's in, it's all imprinted, but it is quite nice and quite tidy looking. You got Holy Bible, large print, ultra thin, King James version, and the Holman, um, the Holman mark. This Bible is 10.2 inches long, 7.1 across, and it's only. 1.2 inches thick This Bible was actually given to me by one of my subs It's it's very nice of them and Definitely grateful for it. They've actually actually put um, These tabs on the side. I did find one problem with one of the tabs But I fixed that problem the problem was I guess I guess because it's you know when you first get your Bible and and um, you put these tabs on the pages might be a little bit stuck together and what happened was this one this one was actually put together with the tab together so I had to actually take it off so that you know you could get to the other page but I took it off and there's no damage as you can see you can just see where the sticky tape mark was but it's not sticky or anything it's not pages isn't damaged or anything so so that was good as you can see, there's no damage. I'm just going to leave it like that, so I know which one's missing. <laughs> there. But she is a nice Bible. The tabs are put on quite right, actually. I mean, a better job than I would have done, that's for sure. It's such a fiddly little thing. And these are only little tabs, too, so, so they're quite good. They're not those big, chunky ones. So I've never had a Bible with tabs on before, so... I mean, I normally make my own little tabs and stick them on, so these ones are actually stuck on but these are only little ones normally you get the real bigger chunky ones the font in this is a um, 10.5 it is a red letter you do have the presentation page and everything else at the front but um, this one so you got your presentation pages and it's actually a clean Bible too so there's no writing or highlighting in this Bible so so that was still quite nice to, to get a nice clean Bible as well So you've got your presentation page, which is on glossy. Oh, of course you've got your paste down. It's only a paste down. But you've got this nice tooling all the way around it, which is quite nice. So when you're looking and reading, you've got all this tooling. And it matches up perfectly, so if you sit there, you can actually see all the tooling. That's quite nice, the edge line there. Now, so you've got your introduction, you know, you've got your desk first marriages and all that sort of stuff there this um this one was actually printed in Korea I'll just get that information all up it was actually printed in Korea and it was actually printed in 2007 so it's an older one but they made them quite nice this is quite nice this these are the other ones you could get this one is no longer in print I um everywhere you looked and it just said no longer in print this one as you can see the copyright up there you've got your book introductions here and the books in order alphabetical order the preface speaking games and why read the King James Version? That's actually quite interesting, that. I read that. And we have the start of the Old Testament. And like I said, the print is actually a 10.5 10 font. 
it's quite nice. There are no subject headings in this, but I did work out that you could just put your subject headings up here and just number them. So as you're reading along, you can actually find what you're doing. And you can do that when you're reading through. The, um, re you've got references and you also have textual notes here at the bottom in the, in the right hand corner. So that's also quite good as well. It's not lined much but in some places when you do looking at it, it does look like it's lined much. There is a very minimum amount of ghosting on this. I mean the camera does pick it up more but it's, yeah, it's not that bad at all. I and mean, I've been reading this for a few days now. Like I normally do, before I do a review, I'll actually read the Bible a couple of times, read, read through the Bible a few times and use it a bit to give you my actual honest opinion of it. Like I said, you might see that on the camera, but I'm looking at it without the camera and it's not that bad at all. It doesn't, it doesn't distract you from reading it. Now she is a red letter. I'll get to the red letter in a minute. Oh, I don't have to. I can just go use these when I work at where we are. Like I said, I'm not used to using these because... There we go. Matthew. It's not self-pronouncing. But, yep, the red letter. The red letter's not too bad in this. It's not like... Yeah, it's just an average red letter. At least it's red, not pink or orange or whatever. It is actually a red. It's not an eye-popping red either, which is a good thing. I know I've, I've had a couple of Bibles where the red is actually eye-popping and it hurts your eyes. The print is... Um, the print's not too bad. It's not like fade in, fade out a lot on the print. I did find in one book that it was a bit... And we're going to try this. And it's this one here. Like, it's a little faded. But, but you can still make it all out. There's no problems with that. But then, sort of, you got this one's really dark. And that's the only, that's the only, like, glitch in it. Would be that page and this as, as it being really dark. And the rest, and it just goes back to normal. So I don't know what happened there when they're printing this. But like I said, it's quite a nice Bible. Like I said, a thin line. I've never had a thin line. As you can see, you've got Revelations. It's in red. Now we've also got some other tabs up here. You've got a, a good size concordance in this. Your concordance is a bit small and I would say that's about a 7 but I mean it's spread out quite nicely so it's quite easy to read. You do have study helps. And you also have some notepaper. I've never seen a, a you know, like a non-premium Bible. I would, would say non-premium because you know it's not like it's not goat skin, but with 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 um notepaper in it. So this is this is something new and 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 good for them because it's a great idea to put notepaper in the back of these on back of Bibles for people. And there's about 10 pages here, or maybe 15. And then you have your maps. Your maps are quite clear. Sorry about the gloss, the shine on the, on the maps. It is on, you know, the shiny paper. But it's not too bad. It's not real thick and cardboardy, so that's nice. And like I said, the, car, the, the maps are quite colourful. And they are quite clear, as you can see. I'll just get that closer so you can see. There's no smudging or anything of the of the words. So it is quite clear. Quite a few maps at the end. Now also with this, you get one ribbon marker, which is fine. I mean, you can add ribbons to this if you want to. I'm quite happy with just the one. I just use these little color tabs. I also found with this, it's actually 
We actually have the stitching. Where are we? Here we are here. It's actually got stitching in here. So this Bible is definitely not going to fall apart. It is the same binding too, by the way. And you've also got this. So this Bible will not, definitely pages will not fall out of this Bible. So Holman has done a quite a nice job on this. As you can see, you can see all the, I do like the, because they're only little, they're quite good. Alright, that's my review on my Holman thin line. And to the sub that um, sent me this, thank you very much. It's very much appreciated. If by any chance I don't use this Bible, I will be passing her on to somebody who um, who doesn't have a Bible, which is normally what I do um, with some of my Bibles with my reviews. Um, I don't keep all my Bibles. Some of them I actually do pass on to people who do not actually even have one Bible. So I'll keep this one nice and clean and if I do pass it on, I'll yeah, it'll be blessed with somebody that does not have a Bible, that's for sure. It is nice. And thank you very much for watching. And like I said, thank you very much to the sub for supplying me with this Bible. It's beautiful. Thank you. Bye.